welcome back to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. Today we're going to be making Valentine's Day cookies. These cookies are going to be very simple. You're going to need some cookie dough, and I chose already made cookie dough, which makes it very easy, and some hard candy. I have some cookie cutters, a rolling pin, a little bit of flour, a mat, a plastic bag, and a little cup for cutting. We're going to make glass Valentine cookies. So the center is going to look like glass, so we're going to be melting the candy. I better unwrap these first though. As I unwrap them, I'm going to put them in this plastic bag because then we're going to smash them. a rolling pin to crush them, but I think some people can put them in a food processor if you have one. <laughs> so I have it in a bag, and now I'm going to put it in another bag, because we are going to crush them. this pre-made cookie dough and we're going to go ahead and roll it out so that we can use our cookie cutters and I have heart-shaped cookie cutters but if you just don't have it, any cookie cutters and you just want to slice the dough that into round shapes that's fine too put a little bit of flour on here and then we'll see how well this dough rolls out I set it outside of the refrigerator for a little while so it would be room temperature so I could roll it out. That's working pretty nicely. Those of you who have made cookies before, you're probably thinking, well, of course, Miss that. So, I'm going to go ahead, now that I have the dough nice and rolled out, I'm going to cut out the cookies. And then, I'm going to place them on a cookie sheet. So, I'm going to go ahead and get those things over here. The instructions on the package say preheat to 350 degrees. So, that's what we're going to do. I better bring it in closer so you can see.
we have the cookies all cut out and the centers all cut out, we're going to put our candy inside the centers. refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes. We had some tea. Now it's time to get the cookies out of the refrigerator and put them in the oven. Now I'm going to go feed the goats. Can you hear them? They're hungry. It's time to get the cookies out. <laughs> now we gotta let them cool. Now that the cookies cooled, I'm putting them in this little box. I was kind of going to send them away to my little sweethearts. They came out really good. You can see the sunshine through them. <laughs> Just like stained glass. I hope you get a chance to try making these cookies too. Thank you for visiting Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. We'll see you next time. Bye!